So I decided to eat nothing but raw lamb meat for two weeks. It could be healthy. I had to know once and for all if raw was better than cooked. Because I come from that whole raw vegan hippie background where it's like raw is superior. Fruits are better than starch. So I don't know. So I did it and I've noticed several like life-changing positives and a couple of life-draining negatives. So we're gonna talk about it today as we go into the ocean. He's in the Oh my god, look at all the jellyfish. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, uh, don't touch me. Damn you, Thailand. Hmm? You start worse? You start worse? They hurt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they right. sting. <laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to make it in this ocean? Oh my god. I hope there's no live one. So if you're new here, you just want a quick update. I was vegan for 10 years, healed myself of ulcerative colitis, but after a while, things just weren't, there's jellyfish everywhere. I was still having like minor symptoms, like bloating, some pain, constipation, like I just, I could never figure it out. I, my goal in life is the perfect poo, just all the time where I'm proud. I wake up, I drop it like it's hot. And it just happens and it's so complete and perfect and easy. It's like that's what I've been working on for 10 years, more than that, like 15 years. And I haven't been able to achieve it on a vegan diet. So I went carnivore, just complete opposite. And I'm kind of like that. I don't know what happened. Something must have happened in my early years where like somebody disagreed with me. And I was just like, what? And then I do the opposite of what they say just to prove them wrong. So it's like, people are saying vegan diet's healthy, so I'm like, no, all meat diet, that's the healthy one. So I'm basically insane, and my advice should be taken with a pinch of salt, which I'm also starting to question if salt is healthy or not, but we'll get into that in another video. So I go on this carnivore diet, and I'm shocked at the immediate relief. It just feels like nothing is in my gut anymore, because there's no fiber, and it's just like a life hack. I was like, oh my god. So I've been doing it for five months now, and my gut feels amazing, but we're having some issues here. My skin just won't clear up on the carnivore cooked meat diet. That's what I'm doing. Cooked beef, chicken, fish, tried eggs. Those don't seem to work. But here's the thing with the skin. For some reason, beef gives me acne where lamb does not. It's weird. I noticed it early on in my journey. I was eating nothing but beef and I'm continuing to break out. And so I just tried it again. I wasn't sure if it was the beef or the magnesium, so I've eaten nothing but raw grass-fed sirloin steaks for three days in a row, and I started to get the zits again around here. Just minor, it wasn't like life-changing, holy shit, I can't leave the house zits. But they were enough to say, something's happening, my body's not liking this, so I stopped. Beef gives me acne, I don't know why, maybe I will be immune to it one day when I heal up. Are those tiny jellyfish? You better not be tiny jellyfish right now. So I switched to chicken and pork and fish, and those seemed to stop the herpes like beef herpes breakouts. But I was still having like my forehead's not clear and my nose feels clogged and I just want perfect skin, just like my perfect bowel movement. It should not be breaking out ever, ever. Show me your ways, ocean gods of the night. So while I do feel like even the cooked meat, I feel better than I ever have. We're having some issues with the eyebrow breakouts. It's so weird, like my body's freaking out. So I had to change. And so I tried nothing but raw lamb meat for two weeks now. And I tell you, my skin cleared up within a couple days. So I stopped reacting. Now, I don't know if cooked lamb would have been just as good, like maybe it was the chicken and the pork and the fish, no matter what, raw or cooked, that was making me break out. So I will test it, but some things are changing. My mental clarity is on another level, up here, up in the sky, it's right up there. No, that's the sun, sorry. How did that thing float by my awareness? Do you see it? 
Oh my god. It's the purple one. Those can kill you. I'm just going to be staring at the camera. Oh god. So a couple things I've noticed with the raw meat compared to the cooked. I'm less hydrated for some reason. It makes no sense to me. You would think raw meat has... Is that thing literally following me? I thought the current was going that way. You leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're coming. Get away. Oh, there's another one. That's an indigo one. Is that an indigo child? If I touch you, will you heal me? I'm just gonna find out quick. Oh. All right, this was a mistake. This was a mistake to come here. So I just noticed I feel more thirsty on the raw meat for some reason. But, and it's so weird, it digests better and worse at the same time. Sometimes when I eat the cooked meals, I eat one meal a day by the way, so it's a giant meal. And on the cooked chicken and pork and fish, I just get, sometimes I burp, like it's not, <laughs> I realize that burping is not a life-threatening illness, but it's just, it signifies that you're not digesting whatever the hell you just ate very well. There's like gurgly things, gas is coming up, it's like, oh, so it's a sign. That went away completely on the lamb diet. Zero burping, and I just feel like nothing is in there, but... On the flip side, it actually hurts my colon. So this is like not good at all. I can feel it in there, whereas the cooked just glides through there. High five in my bacteria down there. They're just partying and I can't do it. It's just another one. I thought jellyfish season was over. Go home, Andre. Oh, you're coming right far. I'm gonna run right into another one. Oh. Ocean gods, protect me with your other room. Ah, oh, God. So I don't know if there's like a harsh bacteria in the meat that's hurting my gut, but I have a feeling that it's just, it's scratchy, it's like fiber. That thing is following me. It's almost, cause you can feel it when you're chewing it. It doesn't chew as thoroughly. It's like eventually you get to a point where you're like, this is not going to break down any further and you have a choice of swallowing it or throwing away your hundreds of dollars worth of grass-fed beef imported from Australia. Where are you going, St. Peter? Where do you head in life? What is your journey? Where does it take you? So my theory is that I just straight up have low stomach acid and I can't digest the meat as well, the raw meat. So. In my opinion, cooked meat is easier to digest, but I was getting the burping, which would suggest it's harder, so it's very confusing. But low stomach acid is a problem. I just watched Simnet Nutrition video, just for the heck of it, and he said he's finally fixing his digestion by taking, I think he was taking HCL, but he had low stomach acid, and addressing that fixed his problems immensely. So it's like, I might have to do that the best way to do it is the celery juice, but we can't get it out here. So if you have access to celery, just juice two cups of celery juice a day. Maybe like 20 minutes before your carnivore meal or your vegan meal. You're a hippie wearing a cotton skirt. And it helps so much. Or you can supplement with the stomach acid pills. I'm not so sure that that's the best idea, but if you're in a pinch, pinch it. But honestly, other than the colon pain, which is a serious problem, raw meat feels so much more superior, and I'm enjoying it now, the taste of it, I crave it. That beef was so delicious, I wish it wasn't making me break out. Grass-fed beef sirloins, and they were yellow fat, you could tell it was just full of carotenoids from the grass. It was like, you might as well eat a carrot. That grass-fed beef is a carrot. May the ocean winds guide me towards the heaven. I did guide right into a jellyfish. So in my opinion, there's something to this raw thing, and I believe it. Just you're not destroying anything. It's weird because when you cook it, it's easier to digest, but you destroy a lot of the goodness in vegan foods or carnivore foods. It's just like I believe the raw is best, and this has potential, but 
I have to address the stomach acid issue to know for sure. Unfortunately, I'm here in Thailand. It'll take me like two weeks to get an order and I'm moving soon. So we might have to wait till I get back to Toronto and then I'll just do the celery juice, see how that reacts, but that's Oxalate City. It's not Goji Man approved. Then what are we gonna do? How the hell, that was right behind me. Oh my god, that was so close to killing me and eating my babies. Oh, this is a nut. Oh no, a plastic bag fish. Ah, shit. Better get out of there. So that's what I've been up to. And just on a side note, I'm on day four of a water fast right now, and it's never been this easy. I feel so good. This is ridiculous. It's so easy. I might just keep going as long as I can until I feel that like true hunger and I'm dying but like I feel phenomenal and I don't know if it's because I've eaten nothing but raw meat leading up to the fast because I just I noticed on the raw meat my mental clarity increased and my energy levels and my mood like everything was getting better except the colon pain that's why we're doing the fast heal this colon up see if we can do it but this is just great I've always wanted to do a 10 day, we'll see. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'll quit at any time. But it's been four days, we're on the fourth day. And if I can keep going, we will. So I'm continuing to make videos. I feel great, like better than usual. I'm out here in a freaking ocean. I rode my bike here. So I'm trying not to be too active, not working out. I'm not working out at all with the monkey strength. Gains, what will happen to them? We will see. But fasting is life. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. It's just, it calms everything down. It's not easy, but it's mostly in the mind I'm finding. And right now I have that on lockdown. It's like, I'm not quitting because of boredom. I'm not gonna just eat food because I'm bored. I'm gonna face it. Lay down and just turn everything off. Don't watch YouTube. Although I watch a lot of YouTube throughout the day, but there's times where I just relax and think things through. <laughs> Just use your monkey mind to better your life and the answers will come. Things are happening. I'm getting new answers like salt. Maybe that's not good. A lot of people eat a lot of salt on the keto diet because they say you need it. But I don't know. If you heal your adrenals up, you'll hold on to that salt. Maybe you don't need it at all. So I'm going to experiment with that. No salt. I don't know. We're just rambling now in the ocean. I think we're done. No jellyfish inside. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching the video today. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you're eating a, a raw couch. Whatever. I wouldn't suggest it. There's another jellyfish. It's a pink one. Spikes on it. That can't be good. That can't be good. Alright, we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos on how to get health. Or not. And kill yourself. <laughs> My advice is not always the best. I admit that. We're still learning and figuring it out. And we will find it. We will find it. I feel great. So, we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.